Hello and welcome back to the show. We've been talking with Jay Peak, president of Peak Financial Corporation, and we've been talking about the Harvest Retirement Program. And now we're going to jump in a little different direction here. We're going to talk about a specific group of people that you help with the Harvest Retirement Program, and that is uh, women. You have a program underneath the uh, Harvest Retirement Program, Women in Wealth. I'm fascinated. Tell me more about that. That's well, a huge thing. Um, I think that there's so many women out there that need help with their finances, more important now than ever because of all the things going on in the world economy. So Women of Wealth is essentially uh, trying to help educate and empower women to understand uh, how to uh, take control of their own finances. So tell me this though, I, and we've talked about this off camera, and I'd love if you'd share this, but this isn't just a, a business decision. This, is a, this has a personal um, yeah. reason for it. Can you, would you share that? Yeah, I can. You know, it's, it's really interesting. Um, everybody only has one mom and one dad, mm -hmm. right? And when you lose one of those in your life, it's like a piece of you is essentially missing, mm -hmm. right? So uh, my mom's been widowed twice. Um, and I think that when you look at the things that she's been through in her life, one, she's extremely strong and I'm extremely proud of her. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is you, you get into a situation to where you're basically sitting there saying, what do you do, right? And I think that so many uh, women have been in that situation where maybe their husband passed away mm -hmm. and you know, they're looking and saying, well, you know, what do I do here? Where, you know, who, who are we supposed to pay? Where's the insurance policies? Where's all these things that you, know, you would think that most people have together and they don't. Mm -hmm. And so I think that going through that with my mom especially as I got older the second time, um, we were prepared more than probably a lot of people were because this is what I do for a living, obviously. Um, and I think that that's so, so important to tell people because if you don't have that type of planning ready now, when something happens, then essentially you're behind the eight ball and that's not a good position to be in at mm -hmm. all. So mm -hmm. the, the personal story is essentially because of what happened to my mom, not once, but twice. I know that's happened to a lot of other women out there. And to me, that's extremely important to make sure that they're taken care of. That is a fascinating story. And uh, gosh, your mom having to go through that yeah. not once, but twice. Do you find a lot of common themes when you're working with women? Yeah, I do. And I think that the biggest one is that uh, they want to take control and sometimes they do have control of their finances, mm -hmm. but it's in a different way. So when you look at their financial portfolio and you say, you know, what portion of this do you want to keep safe? You know what the answer I hear all the time is? All of it, right? And it's because they don't want to be in the same situation that a lot of their friends are in that have been mm -hmm. widowed or divorced or they're single or whatever's happened to them. So you probably see, so on the last segment, we were talking about the ABCs of money. Yeah. So it sounds like you, and this is a, this is a case where you see a lot more of the of the B, yeah. To be able to provide that level of security, that level of yeah. comfort, and and uh, to be able to give that kind of certainty, it's just got to be a relief. It is, and I think that not enough people are talking about it. Um, you know, there's something called the four percent rule, which has been around forever, mm -hmm. and essentially it's you know you meet your stock guy, and he says, well, if you take out four percent of your portfolio, you sh maybe probably won't go broke in retirement, <laughs> and you know maybe back. Uh, you know, in the Reagan years, something like that it worked, you know? Mm -hmm. But now that our stock market is so up and down all the time, uh, you take a payment, let's say you had a million dollars and you're taking 4% off that every single year and you lose 20% of your portfolio, well, now you need to adjust that 4% down based on the loss. Unfortunately, you get a standard of living that you're used to, Absolutely. right? And you don't do that. And so it's called reverse dollar cost averaging, which essentially means the 4% rule doesn't work and you go broke. And again, we talked about, welcome to, Welcome, right. welcome to the store. Yeah, right. And, yeah. Exactly. Tell me a little bit about the process with the Harvest Retirement Plan in the program. How does that? Yeah. Where does one start? We talk about everything that we do, um, and then when you come into the office, we ask that you just tell us where you're at and be honest with us, and say, "Here's where I'm at. Here's where I want to be," mm -hmm. and then we connect those two together, right? And so I think that uh, that process looks different for a lot of people, depending on their assets and you know estate planning and trusts and whatever it is that they have. Um, but I can tell you very simply, it starts with education. It comes to uh, what do you have, we develop a plan, and then we put that plan to action. And the action step is what changes people's lives. The first step of actually taking a good, honest look has got to be uh, um, an interesting moment for a lot of people. It is. I, you know, it's funny. Um, I'll talk to people and say, well, what do you want in retirement? Well, I like to travel the world and 
have a good income, right? Okay, well, what does that look like? Well, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Well, let's get a plan, <laughs> you know? And so you start looking at that and they say, well, you know, here's what's going to take. And they kind of look at it and they look at their statement and say, well, it's, I probably need a little bit more here, you know? And how do we do that? And so we use a lot of accounts that will help them leverage their money. And when people look at that, say, well, why didn't my broker talk to me about this? Well, because he doesn't do what we do. When you're working with clients with the Harvest program, you're working with folks on, on both sides, the, the before they get to retirement right. and the after. Yeah, and I think it's um, important to note that, uh, you know, if you're, whether you're young or old or starting out or have been saving for years, we have a plan for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, we have plans that you can retire tax-free with, obviously give you a lifetime income. So again, it depends on what the client wants, but we can help everybody. All right, well, we're going to talk more about some people that you're, another group of people that you specialize with sure. after the break. So coming up on Right on the Money, we're going to talk more with Jay about different groups that we can help with the Harvest Retirement Program. So join us.